Hello everybody, welcome. I'm not actually out in the kiln shed at the moment, as I thought I was going to be, uh, carrying on with my kiln, but I will be maybe a bit later on. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Actually what I'm doing is, I am just thinking of what things to make, you know, as one does. And um, um, this is a pot I made uh, a few years ago. Uh, it's a garlic keeper pot. And I wanted to have a have a go at making making another 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 garlic keeper pot. So I was just looking at this and trying to you see with this garlic keeper pot I was I was trying to sort of emulate the shape of the of the you know in a loose way of the 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 garlic corm as it's called. Um, so, but now you will notice you will notice that this pot is 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 sort of like terracotta, only bisque fire. Uh, apparently, for for keeping garlic, it's best to keep it in a in a porous pot, not a uh, a glazed pot. So. That's one. That's one thing to think about. Um, and most garlic pots that I see, are in fact, are not. They're not uh, only bisque. They're usually glazed and you know, fired up to temperature. So, but these are you know. Anyway, I was just I was just looking at the pot and thinking to myself, you know, about the design of the pot, um, and I wanted to. I wanted to make another one, which I was thinking. I wasn't thinking to try to make it look like a corm of garlic or garlic bulb. This time, I thought I'd do a different one, and I was just trying to think of the the practical aspects of that uh, with this particular one. Uh, it was actually thrown, was thrown out of one piece of clay and then closed in and then I cut it, I cut it with a, a needle tool I think all the way around you see to, to make the lid. Um, it kind of, it works and it doesn't, you know, the lid, the lid may not always locate properly. It's a little bit hit and miss. <laughs> so it's also slightly, as you can see, slightly, slightly in, indented here in the sides, trying to, you know, get that feel like the garlic is also indented with the individual cloves of garlic. You can see that. So, one thing I didn't think that was very good about this pot, and that is, if it's on your kitchen countertop, well, you can just go, go like that and grab the garlic. But if you wanted to move the pot, you know, if you wanted to move the pot closer to you, say it was a bit further back and you wanted to bring it here, you, you can't pick it up with one hand, really. You, you, it requires two hands to pick it up. Anyway, so what I thought I'd do is I'd have a go at making another one of a different design. This time I'm going to throw it and I'm going to give it a flange so it'll have something to hold on to. Uh, another consideration is it doesn't want to be too narrow in the neck. Although you could say, well, you could stack them like that on top of each other, Simon, couldn't you, if you wanted to? Uh, they haven't got to be like sideways. So this one is is a little bit wide, perhaps. Uh, I'm thinking maybe not quite as wide as that. A little bit taller, but with a with a turned out flange, which will be then for to locate the lid. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go to that 
that wheel where it all happens. Here it is. So, let's have a look. Um, that's it, there we are. So what I've got here is, I've got, a, this is actually two pounds of clay, and then I've got a lid here, that will be the lid, which will be 10 ounces. So, okay, let's see what we can do. Yeah, I'm just a bit worried that my head is going to get in the way, so I'm going to move this further around like that. It's, it's, it's important, isn't it, to think about the design of things. Design is, is such an important aspect, isn't it, of our everyday lives. You know, whether it be anything that is used, generally it has to be designed, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm just centering this lump of clay, lifting it up, coning it up, centering it down. Clay is a little bit on the stiff side. Breaking in, widening the base a touch. I'm sort of like, you know, feeling my way with this. I haven't really. If this if this works, you know, I may have to adjust the amount of clay. Um, we'll see. Bringing it in, sort of keeping it a little bit in at the top there. This is a good move, you know, at least I think so. Putting your hands over like that, but putting that finger inside, it's sort of the clay here runs in the there, if you see what I mean, and it gets a nice rounded feel to it. So I've left approximately an eighth or a quarter of an inch at the base, lift, lifting up the clay. Oh, the phone is ringing now. I'm not answering it. Go away. <laughs> So in at the pushing in at the base, you see, because what I want to do, I want a form that is slightly slightly bulbous. I do want to keep that that bulbous look, you see. So I'm lifting and what? Okay, so lifting it, you want to be able to get the garlic in there, or you also want to, different ways of thinking about this, you see, you could, is it, will it be a pot that you take and tip? So you tip out the garlic into your hand, or do you want to have it wide enough so you can get your hand in to pick the garlic out? 
That's actually an important point because I sort of think of uh, pots that sit on the countertop as being a little bit chunky, robust. You know, they're, 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 they're pots to be used, aren't they? To be picked up, put down, thrown down. <laughs> no, not thrown down. Put down. <laughs> but you know, I sort of like think of like storage jars. You know what I mean? Storage jars, they're a little bit, they want to be, they don't want to be like, too thinly made, do they? So, I don't know, what do you think about that? How's it looking? Okay, well what I need to do is is m make a a place for the the lid to sit or the highfalutin name that they call it a gallery, I don't know why they call it a gallery it's just a ledge make a ledge here, you see so that, what we do, we, I, I, there's different ways of doing it. I usually su support, support it on the outside like that and with my thumb, push my thumb in and, and make, the, make the ledge like that. You know, when you do when you do that, I say I keep my fingers here because when I'm pushing my thumb in, when I'm pushing my thumb in, it can w widen the the whole top of the pot. You see? Okay. Now you just get it. Take a step off the wheel a minute, just take a sideways squint at this. Okay, that's uh, what we're actually going to need to do. Are we in the picture? What we're going to need to do is, let me just uh, very quickly take the camera off the tripod so I can show you a little bit of detail on it so you can see you can see there you see where my my thumb pushed in there like that to create that that ledge and then we We'll take a sideways look at it. They're silhouetted against the, the sky. Okay. Right, what we need to do now is... Um, I need some calipers. Calipers, where are the... Here's the calipers. So it's best to actually best to measure these things while they are on the wheel because while they're on the wheel they're still round you see once you lift the pot off and put it down it's probably not round anymore so what a measure where the, the lid is going to sit So that measurement, sort of in the corners, as it were. Okay, I'm just going to use my throwing stick. I'm just going to clean that. So these ideally are not trimmed, okay? So I'm doing the, the trimming is happening now. That is the trimming, wet trimming. wet trimming that's why you need a decent throwing stick and I'm just using the throwing stick to take that slurry off the side of the pot because I want to lift it off I'm going to use the undercut put an undercut in there using the angle 
on the end of the tool to put in that undercut. Okay, so far so good. Okay, let's leather him. Right. Now, take a cut off wire, clean your wire. Okay, the way to cut these things off the wheel is with the wheel going slowly. You take the you take the cut off wire. Um, let's just clean that a bit. You don't want to have too much water here because otherwise, when you when you go to, to cut cut off, you drag the water in under the pot, and the water can cause the pot to stick. On the other hand, if you have a twisted wire like I do. Um, it will in help to introduce air in under the pot to help your pot come off easier. So what you want to do is take, you don't want to just take this wire now and just wham it through, okay? You first, you first go in, just cut a little bit, like that, and then through, okay? So you introduce the wire just a touch and, and then go through. Don't just go wham. Dry hands, lift him up. Now is when I get to feel the weight of the pot and how he's feeling. He's feeling okay, not too bad. A little, little heavier perhaps, but not, not desperate. Right, now lid. Now lid, lid, lid. Ooh, yeah, so we've got to think about that little lid. I'm thinking I've maybe got a little too much clay here. Doesn't matter. No, it's all right. I'll keep it. Let us throw a lid. So what this this kind of lid will be a lid that's going to sit down in that on that ledge that I made or the gallery, and. And it's going to have a knob thrown with the lid all at the same time. This is a convenient way of throwing, throwing lids, if you're not familiar. So basically, you want to establish the height of your knob first. And then what we're going to do is... We're going to split the clay, you see, like that, by pushing down. Now you want to think about the height of the knob here. Yeah, so at this stage what I'm going to do is... Form the knob. Now you want to make your knob so that you have room, room here for your fingers to pick it up. It also wants to be a knob that is very slightly like a V shape to enable you to be able to feel that you can pick it up without thinking you're going to drop it. All right, that's the first stage. Now we're going to finish this part. So we want to lift this up, you see now. Just lift him up a, a touch. I think we had a lot too much clay actually. And now you, now you bend him over, you see, like that. And I suspect, yeah. <laughs> Woo, we got... Sorry, it's better, better too much rather than too little. I'm just going to cut some of this off. Like that. You don't want to make this this fella here too thin just through here, 
You want him a little bit a little bit robust, you know? So I'm checking in my mirror over there for a little bit of a sideways view. Right. Now I'm going to use my throwing stick and I'm going to I'm going to wet trim it at the base there in underneath. Now you you might think to yourself there's a little bit there's a little bit of a deep lid, Simon. Well, it isn't all going to be the lid as I'll show you in a moment. Let's just measure that again. Yeah. All right. So the he looks a bit deep, doesn't he? Well, that's okay, because when I cut him off, we're going to leave behind some of that clay. Alright? So, in order to do that, I'm not going to... I'm not going to cut him off right at the wheel head. Like that, as I usually do. I'm going to, I'm going to raise him up. I'm going to lift up the cutting, the cutting wire like that. I don't know if you can see that, but a little bit of my of my finger is sticking out underneath. And now I'm going to introduce the wire and now pull across. There he is. Dry one's fingertips and you just lift him like that. Walk underneath with your fingers and take your thumb here and then lift him up. That's the lid. Now I may just thumb him off and he'll go on that on that pot there. Yeah, well so you can see here the clay that I've that I didn't use that I left behind. And, and you, you can do that. So, there he is, there, down there. And we'll put him together in the next clip. Seems very dark, the image. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I know, it's reacting to the to the light coming in the windows making the image go dark, isn't it? So, anyway. Well, thanks for joining us, folks. That's uh, some thoughts there about making a, gar a garlic keeper pot. So, are you a garlic eater? Because if you're not, you ought to be. Because <laughs> garlic is a wonderful herb, isn't it? It's, it's wonderful for your for your blood, for your pressure, all that kind of thing. Very, very healthy. So, um, eat lots of garlic, and uh, it's nice to have a nice pot to put the garlic in, isn't it? So probably what we'll do with this is, we'll put holes in it, and we'll glaze them on the inside, and then I'm gonna spray wood ash, you know, on the outside, so. Okay, thanks. Please go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. We have workshops coming up. You can, you can check them out on our website. Uh, dates of workshops that I run here in this studio. We have about five wheels. We can take about five, six people. Actually, we do have six wheels, yeah. So, so if that's something that interests you, then, then do join us. Um, what else can I say? There's something else on my mind I wanted to say, but gone now. 
Yeah. Okay, well thanks folks, thanks for joining us and keep practicing. Have a go at making this. Two pounds and you're probably going to need about eight ounces for the, the lid. But you can experiment to see what you like and because what I like may not be what you like. And everybody's, you know, different people's hands are a different size, you know, getting inside a pot. So you can make it to your liking. Okay, take care. I'll see you around. Keep practicing. Bye-bye.